Well, for those of you who are uh, wondering, like I have been, about the variation in altitude uh, reading on our uh, when we put the verb edit telemetry at the bottom of the screen, and uh, we get some strange readings sometimes. Um, for those of you who are wondering about that, I'm, I'm putting this together so that maybe I can help everybody understand, including myself. <laughs> so this is the graph of the flight I took right after I got my Bebop 2 power and went out to do a range, a range test. And I flew uh, from a, a level area towards the mountains. And uh, so you can see some things here. Uh, that I that happened. I want to point out one thing that uh, depending upon where you are on the earth that's going to affect what your readings are. So let me show you. I'll move across here and we'll come down here to by the way the red line indicates altitude. So we'll come down here and we'll get to a reported point. Um, this is uh, six seconds as you can see the very bottom line is six seconds into my flight. Okay now the the altimeter in the bebop is a pretty accurate altimeter and uh, uh, so it measures the uh, altitude I am above sea level in the second line up and the second line up says I'm 1624 feet or 495 meters above sea level and by the way this is all being measured by the bebop it's all being measured in meters so it converts uh, this this uh, graph converts it to feet for me. So the feet measurements are not necessarily going to be perfectly accurate, but they're within a foot. All right. So as it turns out, the third line up from the bottom, the relative terrain level uh, where I was standing was uh, where everything around me, if you take it all into uh, put an average uh, level above sea level, I was standing right at 1624 feet. That's what the zeros mean. Okay. Now the, the next line up, the altitude relative to the terrain level, is how high the bebop was uh, according to the lines below. All right, so it was 9.5 feet above sea level, uh, above the the uh, 1624 feet above sea level. All right, so you got to <laughs> anyway. So it was you, you can add nine feet to 624 feet, and you get 600 and the 33 feet so that's not important but anyway so that's how high the the uh, bebop was above sea level and by the way the AR Pro 3 uh, you can uh, uh, set the settings so that you always read the level above sea level I don't know why you'd want to do that but anyway I suppose if you were flying at the ocean that'd be important all right so the next to the top line is uh, the the uh, the altitude that the uh, altimeter reads uh, above where I took off. And then, of course, the altitude reported by the drone, that goes into the, the telemetry uh, recordings, all right? So now I'm flying, and I'm nine feet above the ground, and time is going by. This is only six seconds into the flight. So now let's move up here to this point here, which is a minute and 43 seconds into the flight. And so that's the bottom line. The next line up, the terrain over sea level, is uh, where I had taken off. And uh, so that's still the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, that hasn't changed much. And by the way, the terrain above sea level, uh, as, as you fly around, uh, the altimeter shouldn't change much. But anyway, it's going to vary a little bit. Okay, so now, but if you look at the uh, altitude relative to the terrain level, you can see that I have climbed up to 352.4 feet um, at that point relative to terrain level, which is uh, where, I, where I took off. But because the ground uh, has come up 2.7 feet, then, um, and by the way, the, uh, the, uh, the altitude relative to terrain level is the measurement that the sonar reads. Okay, so now you have to you take the sonar reading plus the 2.7 feet 
of the change in terrain, you add those together and you get the altitude from the place where I took off of 355.1 feet. That's the top line. Okay, so uh, uh, this is this is what's going into the telemetry uh, that's recorded. Now let's go up to the point where I turned around and came back, which is right about here somewhere. Okay, we'll put that right in the middle there. Now let's go to the bottom. I'm five minutes and 56 seconds into the flight, and <clears throat> uh, the terrain above sea level is uh, has changed a little bit. Uh, the average terrain above sea level has changed a little bit, so it's reading 1,690 feet because uh, it's looking at where it's located now on the Earth, and that's 1,600 feet above sea le level at this point. And then we go to um, uh, the uh, the third lineup, the relative the relative terrain level at this point uh, is 66.3 feet. That's 66.3 feet higher than where I took off, okay? And because um, remember it was 1,624 feet or something like that. So you take the 1,624, you add 66.3 feet, and you, uh, then you have the, the relative uh, measurement of where you located. So we take that, that change in feet that the terrain below the... Uh, Bebop has uh, read, and uh, you uh, then you take the, let's go up to the altitude relative to the terrain level, and that's reading 413 feet. That's 413 feet. So now our our uh, at the top is the altitude reported by the drone which is 66 plus 413, uh, which is 479 feet. That's how high I am above where I took off. So it's a little confusing, but uh, that's how the Bebop uh, calculates all this. Now, let's take a look here for a second at the top line. The 479 feet is what is going to be indicated on the little round dial on Verb Edit's uh, templates, all right? Uh, that's how high I am above sea level. The 413 feet uh, in the second line down, that's how high the, the drone is from the ground. Okay, that's uh, read by the sonar. Okay, so anyway, that's how, that, that's how these, these numbers get fed into the telemetry, and then in verb edit, they get turned into meter readings and so forth. And I hope I haven't confused you. I'm trying to make it simple to understand when we look at those meters and we say, how come there's so much difference? Uh, that's part of the reason, okay? Now we're gonna uh, take a look at another reading. And now that you understand a little bit about it, let's take a look at a different reading. Okay, this is, the, uh, this is uh, taking my drone off from uh, the, in front of my house. Okay, this is the one I think that I show the garbage trucks. <clears throat> and uh, it's the trashy video. So let's take a look at the bottom line. This is 14 seconds into a flight, but uh, uh, <laughs> this is where I hand launch, okay? And so uh, it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, I'm at 1,492 feet above sea level at this point, all right? And relative to the uh, terrain around me, which uh, is on an average higher than where I'm located. So if you look close on the relative terrain level, I'm at minus 2.9 feet. I'm actually lower than the average terrain um, because I'm in a valley, of course, but uh, so I'm 2.9 feet below the sea level measurement of the average terrain around me. So second line is the average terrain around me. The uh, third line up from the bottom, that is, the third line up is where I'm located and uh, it's minus 2.9 feet. And so uh, at this point in time, the drone, the, the uh, Bebop has risen to 13.5 feet above where I took off. 
And so when you subtract 2.9 feet from 13.5 feet, feet, you get the average or you get the altitude reported to the telemetry of 10.7 feet. Now, that's going to cause some confusing when you, confusion when you look at uh, the telemetry uh, uh, reported uh, on the screen by the, uh, the verb edit uh, dials because the dial at the, in the, the uh, dial in the uh, lower right that I usually use is going to show 10.7 feet and the, measure, the level above ground is going to show 13.5 feet. So this is confusing because the average uh, terrain around me is higher than where I took off uh, in my front yard. So th these are some things that uh, when, until, you, until you look at these graphs, it's really difficult to figure out exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and just take a look at one of these over here uh, where I was following the garbage truck and um, uh, you'll notice that the uh, this is four minutes and 20 seconds into the flight looking at the bottom line and then uh, the terrain over sea level uh, is uh, it's 1492.7 feet and once again I'm still uh, it, it was minus 2.7 feet where I took off and uh, that's the third line up and the fourth line up the altitude relative to the terrain level is uh, 34.4 feet okay so that's above the ground but the uh, the big dial on the right is only going to show 31.8 feet because that's how high I am above uh, the starting point and so you'll see uh, the 34.4 feet uh, is like uh, that's quite a bit of difference between uh, what the uh, the the top line shows and that's because the ground uh, where I was standing, the ground below me slopes down to to the to the road. If you look at that at that video, uh, so there's about a three foot difference um, between where I usually take my drone off in the front yard and where the road is, uh, or the, at least the gutter of the of the street in front of my house, because that has a crown and it slopes and so forth. So that's why I get some funny readings in front of my house and. Uh, uh, so I hope this helps a little bit. I know it's uh, it, it may not be important to some people, but I was getting confused on how come I cannot get uh, you know, <laughs> what appears to be confusing readings. But it all adds up when you start looking at the at the at the graph and the uh, reporting points on the graph. So I hope this helps, and I want to thank you for watching, and God bless you.